Hello and welcome back to part three of our karting series. In previous episodes, we went through acceleration and stabilization. And in this episode, we're gonna work on the steering of our vehicle. So let's jump in and take a look. So last time we were here, we got our cart moving forwards and backwards. Now the other key thing is obviously steering. Now steering is handled by torque and controlling that torque. So first of all, we need to set up the input for our steering. So in our input folder, let's create an input action for IA underscore steer. We open it up. And the reason why we're opening up is because we want to change the value type. So by default, an input action is going to give you a Boolean result. We don't want a Boolean result from this. We want a float. So go to access 1D float. Hit save, close that. You now need to go to your context, which is the yellow one. And we're going to add a mapping for steering. Just minimize the accelerate there. Let's actually fix that. I fix the spelling actually. <laughs> On the steering here, we're going to add in the mouse X input. So mouse X. So I'm going to steer the mouse key. Uh, input now you may want to use the uh a and d input as well it's up to you um depends on what kind of thing you're doing but we we'll use the mouse x and i'm going to put that in there like that now onto our blueprint for our go-kart here we're going to add our steering input action and on the trigger, this is going to return in the action value here. This is the, going to be the uh, the value, the float coming from our X. So if we move that mouse to the left, it can give us a negative value. Move it to the right, it's going to be a positive value. Now, it's not simply just a one to minus one. It will actually change based on how fast you move it to, which can be quite useful if you're doing a very analog control system for the input system. Obviously, if we make this work for controllers, there's a little bit more work involved to get it working with that. But for now, we're just getting it working with the, uh, the mouse X. So very simply, what we're gonna do is add torque to our box. So let's drag out box mesh. And in here, we're gonna do torque in radians. And this simply, all it takes is a vector uh, based on how it is going to apply the torque. And we're applying the torque in the Z vector. Okay. So I'm going to right click and split this open. I'm going to turn it in the Z axis. Now, the amount we're going to turn that is going to be based upon its action value. Now, just dragging that straight in, it's not going to be enough. We can push that in now and you'll see that if I move the mouse, barely, in, well, no, can't, no visible movement. But if I multiply this value by strength, and we'll go quite high, we'll go like a million. And you can now see I can turn my vehicle. And the steering is going to turn the vehicle and make it go the way you want it to go. Now the camera at the moment is locked in a weird position because it's not following the rotation of the character or the cart rather. So if we go back to our cart and go to spring arm, we're gonna tell you not to use the pawn control rotation. So just turn that off. And that way it will inherit the yaw of the car, which is what you want. And that's the basics of steering in there. However, there is a slight problem and that is if you stand completely still you can still turn which isn't really what driving's like but what we can do is we can multiply that further by our acceleration input we can drag that out and this acceleration input we can now drag in to there you can hit compile and save and basically if i stand in still and move the mouse nothing's happening but as soon as i start moving the more i move the greater turning I have. And we can reverse. And we can steer around like so. So now we've got it working on the mouse. Let's talk about how we get working on a gamepad. Because as I said, the gamepad controls can be very different 
And the reason why they're different is because the uh, gamepad uh, sticks go between a range of minus one to one. And as I said earlier, if you move the mouse very fast, you get higher values. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically scale up the strength in our gamepad controls. So let's go to the context for our vehicle. And for steering, we're going to add another input. And for this, we're going to choose the input for the left thumbstick x-axis. But what we want to do here is we want to modify that value. So you go to modifiers, click on the little plus button. And in there, you're going to see a scalar. Open this up. And now you can see we scale it in different directions. And we're just going to scale it in all of them. And we'll do, let's say, 50. This value we'll need to tweak and change to get it feeling just right. But now I'm picking up my, my controller. And I'll now use the controls. Now you can see here 50 is probably a bit too much. So let's turn that down a bit. Let's change that to 25, 25, 25. Let's see how that plays out there. Now this steering is very linear in the sense that um, your steering circle is is pretty tied to your acceleration input. Normally, if you're going for more simulation, you'd have a steering curve, which you apply to it as well, which we won't do in this episode. We'll do that probably later on when we get more into more advanced um, cart stuff. But for the most part, we're good. So I probably want to turn the steering down a little bit. As you see, it's a bit much for that cart sort of turning. Let's, um, let's play that a bit more down to like 10, 10, 10. And whilst I'm here, I'm also going to add the reverse in here too. So I've got right trigger axis doing accelerate. I'm going to do another input for this. That'd be right trigger, uh, left trigger, sorry. Um, axis, left trigger, axis. Uh, except this one you're going to modify and negate the value so it does the opposite in this case reverse so now I can reverse as well with my gamepad okay that's not too bad Try reversing all feels correct as well I think we're in a good position there So there you have it, we can now steer our cart around as well as move forwards and backwards. In the next part we're going to work on adding some wheels to our cart so it can visually look like it's turning. You can watch the next part right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thank you so much to all the patrons and YouTube members for their continued support in the channel. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.